Well, hello, I'm Tracy Gillinder, Head of Marketing and Fundraising at Your Town. And today I have the pleasure of showing you through Bellevue, Your Town's Christmas Prize Home 2022. We're here outside the front of the property at the gatehouse. Let's go in and take a look. Just so picturesque and spectacular. Beautiful front lawn. Perfect for children or the dog to play in. And then of course you've got your six car accommodation just over here. And this really beautiful grand entry with our fountain. So we're finally complete. I know we've given you a little sneak peek of uh, the work we've been up to, but today we are going to take you through this magnificent and large country home that is only 15 minutes from the beach. I wonder who could be inside. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> well, here we are again. So we did a little bit of a sneak peek and we had a look at uh, seeing how we were progressing along the way, but today you're going to show us the finished product. This is the finished product. If you wanted to know what I'd do with the Australian Country Brief, you're standing in it. Wow. Look at that. Come wow, on in. look at that. Fantastic. Come on in. Look at this for a grand palatial hallway. It certainly is. Wow. I love how high the ceilings are. I've had lounge rooms this big. <laughs> Me too. Speaking of lounge rooms. <laughs> oh, wow. What do you think of the cinema room? I love it. I love it. So we've kept the fireplace from the original house. We have seating for adults, for kids, for watching movies. I don't know if you've noticed because of all this beautiful grand palatial loveliness, but we also have an 85 inch TV. Perfect. Yeah. So great for watching movies, great for sitting by the fire, great for adult conversations, great to send your kids in here and also a really good space to sit and take in the outdoors and you know be connected to the pool perfect perfect so many it's like a real multi multidisciplinary space isn't it you know media room can be a formal living area as well and got that fireplace and i can feel the air con coming in on me on this really hot day in How good is it? valley today we have fans in every bedroom we have fans in the cinema room we have uh, reversed cycle air conditioning throughout the entire house Fabulous. so it's going to be warm or cool whatever you need in the valley and if you haven't caught the breeze from the outside then you can get everything else when you're inside as well and it's nice and separated from the rest of the house too it so is, you yeah. really can send the kids here and have privacy whilst you're entertaining in the rest of the house oh i just love this kitchen this is a dream kitchen it's a dream family kitchen i think i've designed it with the five zones in mind so we have a cooking zone which is Phenomenal, like that double cooker, it's 1.2 metres wide. Out. It has gas, we have teppanyaki plates. It is absolutely beautiful. Yep. Gorgeous. You could cook up a storm in that, Tracy. Certainly, well, somebody else could. I'm mean, fantastic. <laughs> somebody else definitely could. We've got double integrated fridges and freezers. We also have double integrated pull out pantries with the Hapley tandem system. That's my favorite system in the whole world because you get so much pantry space out of that. Um, let's count how many stools we have across this Before island Before you do bench. that, just like, I love how, and you know, we'll see it a little bit when we get to the great room, which mm. is called great for a reason, but I love how you've got your range hood, you know, disguised here. So it doesn't look like this horrible, ugly range hood. It looks like, you know, just this beautiful part of it's, the house. It's monolithic, it's plastered. I really like this gentle 22 mil corner that we've designed into it. And it does refer to something in the great room. You're right, it's very deliberate. Um, also, let's just count, like how big must this island bench be if you've got six stools across the side? You could fit two more on each other side. Easily. This is the perfect entertainer's kitchen because you could cook up a storm, you can entertain a storm, you could run your whole kitchen and your whole home from right here whilst you're overlooking the pool, looking at the kids in the cubby house. They can be playing out there in the grass even, and you can be preparing lunch for everybody so that you can be in here, be outdoors, be by the barbecue. One of the best things about this house is that it all connects to all the outdoor spaces. Mm. 
and pretty much every bedroom and all the living spaces face onto the pool. It's great. And I love, I love this beautiful basin. So nice to see, not saying the steel or the, black. And there's three of them. <laughs> I love it. We've got it. one here. Um, also, let me talk to you about the, uh, the cleaning zone. I think this is a really important thing. So the cleaning zone is right where you are. You've got bins. Perfect. Yep. So you- Lots of bins, great. Yep. We've got uh, four bins here. You put all your food, all your recycling to there, give it a wash. Load With it. a tap that also, I love this whole well, thing. Well, you can't have a, a sink this big and not have a pull-out mixer, yeah. right? So perfect for, for a big giant sink. But then you can load into the dishwasher. And what's great about the design of this, according to the designer, <laughs> um, is that you You've can- You've done this before. <laughs> you can unload the dishwasher and put all the things that live in here back where they belong. Right? Yeah, so you've got all your glasses, all your plates, all your cutlery. So all your cutlery, you've got three of these in the top of each of these drawers. Then you can put all your pots and pans, all your plates, all your plastics, all the glasses are actually really nice and low. Yeah, perfect. So you've got yeah. access to all this all the way up to here. I mean, they call it the top shelf for a reason. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Where you keep all the good stuff. Absolutely. Um, but that's designed so that you can literally unload the dishwasher and put everything away mm -hmm. without having to move your feet. And look, that's the detail of this beautiful Chroma tapware in that, you know, brush metal and then the, the handles. I love it. You've definitely done this before. <laughs> oh, how about the reeded glass? I just, I love, I love that sort of lovely fluted reeded glass. I think it's heaven. This is a serious kitchen. It is. And but, it's not over yet. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> so... Let's check out the butler's pantry. And this is, it's all business in the butler's pantry. Oh, and look, Hi. we've got a butler. Hi, Joe. Hi. <laughs> what, are you, what are you cooking oh, up there? I was thinking about what I'm going to cook for Christmas dinner. Nice. So, yeah, what a great butler's space, though. And Incredible. Yeah, I think if I won this, I would be hiring a butler for the, <laughs> the Christmas day, wouldn't you? Well, that's the idea. You know, the, the thing is, you could entertain this space. You could have caterers in this house. You could easily, you know, have a big family gathering but also you could you know it could be a wedding it could be any sort of uh, big family function that you've got in here we've got more bins you've got the Le Mans system in the corner here we have another dishwasher there another butler's sink uh, it's another steam oven the microwave convention convection oven we've got more space for all of your non-consumables so we have all five zones covered again in this butler's pantry and again, I've had kitchens that are smaller than this. And so, I love this. You just, you did that really super quickly, but that's the Hayfley system as the well. The Hayfley Le Mans system, best use of a corner, dead yeah, corner great. ever. Um, and you know, you've got more preparation space. You have coffee machine, coffee, uh, so coffee machine, your toaster, kettle. So that all lives in here. So the main kitchen, nice and pristine, okay. minimalistic, not cluttered. And you can clutter this up as much as you like. Not that you're cluttered, Joe. No. I'm happy to be the, the butler. <laughs> well, certainly you, you know, you've got some other friends who really appreciate storage and surely there is no, uh, there's no shortage of storage. There is no shortage of storage in this house. Okay, so those living spaces that are connected to this and the previously mentioned great room. I like to refer Show to it as the great room, Show yes. It. But also, speaking of storage, we have linen cupboards for days here. So they're very deep, 600 deep. And you can put all your sheets, all your towels, all the things you need to store, all your Christmas presents right in there. Okay. Don't tell your kids that's where the Christmas presents are though. Depends how old they are, they'll look anywhere. Big, <laughs> big dining table. We've got it seating eight, you can easily sit 10. I've used big, generous, soft, comfortable seats. But uh, yeah, this would be a great place for Christmas lunch. It would. One of many. Well, you know, lunch here, dinner somewhere else, or vice versa, you could really settle in. These, these seats are beautiful. You could also settle in here and have a coffee in the morning, I think. I think this would be a pretty spectacular place to just start your day. Yeah. Listening to the creek. And you can, yeah, you can hear that's gorgeous. And then that veranda that connects right along through there, off the great room. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, it's just so light and bright and green. I talk about connecting to the Australian landscape. I think this house does it so beautifully. It's one of the best things about Queenslanders is those wraparound verandas and the fact that you've got that indoor outdoor lifestyle. Yeah. But if you're gonna be indoors. Then it should be great. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty great place to be. Um, wow, so I just every... got goosebumps. Yay. I love it. 
Ah, that's what I want everyone to feel. You don't know what to look at first, you know. You've got that incredible ceiling with those beautiful Velux skylights, and then you've got this custom-made space with the fireplace, like just gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, this big apex ceiling, those six V-luxes let in so much light, the, the drapes lead your eye upwards. And I mean, this fireplace, I designed it so that in winter, you could be in here conversing. It's a really great central architectural piece of the room. You can also sit here, fireplace going, having a chat with everybody in the space. Um, and you can fit I don't know, 10 other people in this room without an without a issue at all. Um, and perfect place to open your Christmas presents. Well, you know what I was thinking? The side of this, perfect for the carrot for Rudolph. And you know, the cookie and the milk for Santa. And of course, that's where he's leaving the Christmas presents. And uh, we're kind of making sure that somebody can move in for Christmas, spend Christmas Eve here. And there's gonna be some presents under the tree as well. And you are literally set up for Christmas lunch and dinner. We always say, um, just bring a toothbrush, but this year we've even got toothbrushes. Oh, like what? <laughs> just bring some clothes to wear, right? <laughs> and here is the other alternative for that uh, Christmas festive feast. Yeah, I think maybe Christmas Eve dinner in there, yeah. but Christmas day, out definitely here. gonna be out here. Yeah, perfect. Uh, you've got space so that the kids can run around the whole wraparound of the uh, brands of the house. Again, you've got another eight-seater dining table that could easily fit 10. Um, you've got barbecue built in, and each of these bedrooms on this wing look onto this veranda that also then looks yeah, onto the pool beyond. And that barbecue, wow. That's, that's quite the outdoor kitchen. Yeah, that's a, that's a serious number. Oh, still got plastic in it. Don't barbecue that. That's okay, because it's new. But it's new. we've got, yeah, fridge, we have sink, we have a full outdoor kitchen set up. It's, and like everywhere you look, green, green, green. It just, it feels so private. You feel like you're in a little tree change, but it's 15 minutes from the beach. Like, that's crazy. It is crazy. But truthfully, you don't have to leave here. You yeah. have everything you could possibly want. Yoga studio, resort-style pool, five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, two lounge rooms, a work from home space. And um, Clay, do you come with the pool? <laughs> we've got a butler. Now we've got someone cleaning the pool. Perfect. That looks great, Clay. It's a beautiful spot, isn't it? It's gorgeous. So three sun lounges. I love the, the frameless glass. Just, you know, doesn't interrupt the beauty of that space. And then you've got your fire pit and seating area there. And a kid's cubby house as well. I if love they're not running around the verandas, they should be in that. <laughs> and how good is it? I, lo I love that the, uh, the, the cubby house mirrors all the details of the main house. So we've got the same fretwork, we've got the same colour palette. It's just a really cute little place that you can keep your eyes on the kids while you're here entertaining, while you're there barbecuing, while you're in the kitchen making your meals. It's, it's absolutely designed for family friendly use. And that there's nobody. You know, when you think we, we always think about our supporters at Christmas time or any time, but particularly at Christmas, because we want to offer something special. And this is over six point two million dollars worth of first prize. There's not a space in this house that someone's not gonna love. Like kids are gonna love it, teens would love it, someone our age, super young, would love it. <laughs> My mum and dad would love it, you know, the grandparents would love it. Everyone's gonna love this space. I designed the house too so that we have two distinct wings in terms of bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So on this end we have bedroom four and five. So this is more where you put your grandparents, your guests, your adult children, or your teenage kids. So the, the people that stay here that want their own sense of space, these two bedrooms. And then we've got the other three bedrooms that are the family friendly space, and they're all connected together as well. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, so there is so much house, this is gonna take us all day. Where to next? Well, obviously, command center of the house, but if you ever want to work again after you win this place, <laughs> you can do it up here. So I've designed the staircase, I've designed the balustrades. Again, it's nice and simple and minimalistic. It's actually one of the first things that we moved when we redesigned this house. I remember, I remember. Hey, I want to move the staircase. Yeah, can, sure. we, can we move the staircase? <laughs> okay, great. Now, can we rebuild most of the house? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, we've got a great work from home space here, so, you know, your kids could be doing their homework while you're sitting here catching up on your laptop. 
you could be working, you can run a business from here easily without yeah. a problem. Um, we've got a coffee station, it's got its own refrigerator, and you've got that lovely connection to the, to the kitchen downstairs. Yeah, so I you can that. be here, but you can still check in on the rest of the family. And I mean, visually, look at that. Yeah, stunning. God, I love this house. It's a great house. Just like light, light for days, you know? Not a dark spot in the house. It does help the Queensland's weather is beautiful today and that's mm. really showing it off. But yeah, as you said, little fridge there. You've got your coffee maker there. Perfect, perfect work from home space. And also an air conditioned space as well. Yes, very important, very important. Now, yes. how about I take you to show you through all of the bedrooms? Sure, let's do it. Which one are we doing first, guests or family? Let's start, start with main bedroom. Perfect. These floors are gorgeous. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? This is probably one of the first things that I chose, the carpet court engineered floors. And they work so perfectly with the kitchen. I love, mm. uh, I shouldn't be tooting my own horn, but I do really <laughs> love how similar, how connected that is and how yeah. simple this palette is. It's actually really hard yeah. to do a minimalistic palette. Now, the beautiful thing about these floors is they're pretty hardy, right? Oh my, yeah. So one of the things that people do criticize me for sometimes when I do the tours is wearing heels. So I try to wear flat shoes when I'm doing that. But these are pretty, pretty hardy floors. Um, look, I've, I've chosen everything in here so that it is family friendly. I mean... And you can live, right? You don't have to worry about it. Stress about it. Take your shoes off at the door. All the rugs, uh, you know, are uh, basically solution dyed nylon. The Caesar stone bench tops, you can, you know, spray and wipe those clean. Everything in here is designed for family use. Yeah, perfect. And uh, this wing being no exception. So, welcome to the main bedroom. Impressive. Very, very impressive. So, on this side, uh, if you'd like to take a seat there. The hers. The well, hers part of the room, perhaps? You know what? It's, uh, I'd use it because I need to do my makeup sometimes too. <laughs> You're true. <laughs> but it's, it's a really great makeup mirror because you can change the temperature Right, so you can see yourself in any any of those. It's backlit and front lit. I love a good gadget. And it plays music. Of course it does. Of course I know. it does. I can see there, right there. Oh wow. So we've got hanging, hanging, uh, lots of storage. We have uh, drawers on each side and hanging on each side. And the lighting's beautiful in there as well. Um, I know I'm creepy when I when I like when like you to touch the wall. Be tactile <laughs> with walls, but. That, isn't it a beautiful, lovely curve? Yeah, it's gorgeous. And all the wallpapers in each bedroom are different. Yeah, it's lovely. We also have another robe here too. So you've got more hanging, more hanging, and more shelves and storage and drawers. So Tracy, I don't know. I mean, I think this is enough robe. Would it be enough robe for you? Well, I, I, I've got a few shoes, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Um, it would be enough for me. My husband, or not? Yeah, right. Who knows, but, right? Yeah, but, maybe. you know, there's plenty of other spaces that, you know, we can find wardrobe space. Well, now, this this is seriously a master suite. You know, it is a suite in the true, you know, description of the word. You've got this little balcony off here overlooking the creek again. That to the studio, which we'll uh, check out a bit later. And then, you know, this, this is like spa-like, this bathroom. It's absolutely... Stunning. And that curve that you just so lusciously touched there is also reflected inside this gorgeous bathroom. King size bed, don't forget that yeah, bit. Of course, of course. And I mean, if I was so inclined, I could climb into this bathtub to demonstrate. Not going to do it, but great space to sit and just have the doors open, look beyond the trees, listen to the creek running in the background while you're having a nice soak, glass of wine, just putting your feet up and relaxing in your glorious main ensuite. It is huge. Now this looks like rope, but it's actually a vinyl wallpaper. It's beautiful. I can remember talking to you about that when you put it in, thinking it was tiles, you know, just standing back, but yeah, it's just gorgeous. I've used different vinyl wallpaper in each of these two bathrooms on this side. We've also got different wallpapers in each of the bedrooms. And I don't know if you like a bit of storage, yeah, but love a bit of storage. Storage for days here in this vanity. We've got drawers, cupboards, 
face level storage, powered inside, everything that we see I say to do, I did. Perfect. It's Perfect. like it's like I've learned. Isn't it right? How to do a good bathroom. <laughs> we also have this gorgeous curve from our walk-in row. Also translates into this bathroom here. So um, it's lovely with these little penny rounds. I've used a minimalistic palette here. It's really deliberately sort of beige in this room. And you'll see in the other bathroom, they're linked together, but they're different. Also, I've positioned the shower mixers so that you can stand with one hand here, adjust your temperature, not get wet. It's like I've thought about every single detail. Isn't it? And I love the rain shower head plus the handheld. That's great. Well, it stops you getting choice. your hair wet. Exactly. If exactly. you don't want to get your hair wet. And some people love the rain shower, some people love the other. So, you know, you can knock yourself out. You've got the choice of both. And some people like to not have to blow dry their hair every day. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Well, shall we check out these other family bedrooms then? Yeah, let's. And on the way past, speaking of shoe storage. <laughs> <laughs> there is more shoe storage here. Uh, we can definitely fit, I don't, know, I don't know how much more of your collection you can fit in there, but the idea is if you're walking into the house from your six car garage, you'd walk up the side through the path, through this door, sit yourself down, take your gum boots off, and you can store all of your, your school bags, your dirty shoes, there's storage above and below, there's storage inside here, there's hooks, and this is your mudroom. That's it, perfect. So, Keep the mess in there. And perfect for a country family home. Yeah. There is grass around, there is earth around, and you do need another entry so that you don't walk all that muck through your house. Definitely. And then the other bedrooms just connecting through here from the main. Yeah, now I, I really, this is deliberate. So we've got a door into another door into another door. And so if you've got kids, I think probably under 13, before they really want their own personal space and you wanna keep a close eye on them, they're right here. Yeah. So you can connect to all your kids' bedrooms on this side. They get to share a bathroom. This is not by any means a childish bedroom. This is a big it's bedroom. A big it's got a queen size bed. It connects onto your balcony out here. It has a massive big robe. So, you know, it, it it doesn't have to be for anyone under 13. It just so happens that it's a really great way to connect to kids and keep an eye on them if you wanna keep all the doors open or, or check on them before they go to sleep. Perfect, and that this connecting bathroom is massive. I do love a Jack and Jill. So this again, I've designed specifically so that if you've got someone in this room and someone in this room, they've each got a bat, but uh, they've each got a basin, they've each got face level storage, they've each got sections of the vanity. The vanity is two meters wide, so it's gigantic. It's custom made by Lachlan Furniture, as are the shelves here and all these internal doors. They're made of solid oak. The doors are beautiful, just beautiful. So are all the handles. Yeah, lovely. And I can see the subtle difference in the vinyl wallpaper here, as opposed to the one in the next room. So this is a little bit more gray toned as That's the other it. one was beige. That's it. So we've got a, a, a link between the two. This is a, is a very big bathroom as well. We have the bathtub. So whilst we've got one in the main bedroom ensuite, that's a sort of luxuriating. It's the same size bath, same bath, but in here it's very functional because if you have little kids, if you've got pets, then that's kind of where you're gonna to wanna to wash them. Perfect, perfect. And then the other bedroom, which is also not small. By no means. And, you know, we have these vastly high ceilings, these beautiful cornices. I have picked every single detail in this house. So from the cornices to the architraves and the skirting boards, nothing in here is uh, from the old house. We've replaced everything. As you know, we've rebuilt most of this house. It's <laughs> pretty have. much brand new house. Um, and it's a comprehensive renovation. We have replanned every, every part of the layout, every position of every bedroom. Um, and you know, this is a big bedroom. We have a, a nice big robe, fans in every bedroom, air conditioning in every bedroom, and all bedrooms except this one open out onto a veranda as well. And this is, so the, the main bedroom is a king and all of the other bedrooms are queens. So it. they are nice big rooms. Yeah, and they all have their own distinct different wallpapers and their distinct different feels. Great, well let's check out the guest suite. 
but I'm going to take us around a little, another way to, to showcase a different space. And of course, we can't miss because everybody knows you do have guests. We've got a little powder room here, so guests can go to the bathroom here. Got your little vanity there that they can wash their hands and those sorts of things as well and keep them away from the family spaces. And there's also a little reference to some of the tiles we'll see in the other bathroom in this powder room as well. Fantastic. Now let's go, let's go via the... Uh, the balcony, the verandas, so that we can see just that connectivity in action. Such a grand entry, isn't it? I just love it. Thank you, Jacaranda, for flowering <laughs> at exactly the right time. Hooray. It's such a big, beautiful, expansive um, property and all of those um, established trees, mm. you just, you can't buy them. No, well you, you can, but they cost a they lot cost of a money. Fortune. And you're not guaranteed to keep them alive, so yeah, that's just beautiful. And the privacy that they create as well. And I mean, look, you've got lawn for days, you've got that resort sized pool. It is so light and bright and I just, I, I want to dive right in there, but I'm too well dressed for that today. <laughs> and it was certainly hot enough. And so we talked about before this sort of being an entertaining uh, area, but keeping intentionally the guest room separate from the family spaces. So we can go directly into those other bedrooms from here. So in oh here wow, we, this is pretty. Yeah, we've got, a, a, again, a grand proportion in terms of the bedrooms with the floor space, also the ceiling heights. We have these long lines of the vertical um, of the drapes here. We have a block out blinds in all the bedrooms as well, so they're light, light to tight. Um, fans and air cons in every single bedroom. And this one, you know, it feels slightly pinker. It's, a, it's de deliberately a soft pink in the gray wallpaper here. So this is, you know, it's, it's just a lovely, soft, gentle feeling in this room. And look at the outlook. Mm, like, lovely. who wouldn't want to be a guest in this house or an adult staying in this end of the house with your own privacy, your own outlook, your own access to that balcony and a bathroom just over there Perfect. shared between these two bedrooms. Oh, beautiful. I love those tiles. They're gorgeous. Thank you very much. I picked them myself. <laughs> So we've used those on the floor and also up the wall in the shower. So this is a single basin. It's also, uh, it's still a big vanity. It's the same size as the main bathroom vanity. But I've used a single basin here because frankly, I just figured whoever's in these spaces is gonna want the space, the bench top space. Yeah, definitely. And there's that meant previously mentioned toothbrush. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you don't even need to bring a toothbrush. We got those for you as well. Perfect. And we've got another guest room here. Oh wow, this is, I love how they've got their own personality, each room. I really tried to make sure that they linked together in terms of cohesive story across the whole house, but they all had a distinct personality. And you know, you can see that this, it's, you know, it's darker, there's those lovely sort of rusty browns. Um, I've used that sort of rusty brown colour as an accent colour through, but otherwise it's a very neutral house and it's really deliberate. Mm. I made the house um, light oaks and oaks everywhere. It's very hard, it's a very hard palette to work with, but um, I think it's worked really well. I can't get over how well those fans work in with the colour palette in the rest of the house as well. I think they're, they're magnificent. I'm a fan of the fan. Me too, me too. I love, I love fans full stop, but that is beautiful. And it's so nice to see something that's not overpowering, but at the same time, you know, is not just boring and plain white. Well, that's it. I mean, it's a, it's a design feature just as much as the bed is, just as much as all the internal um, decoration and materials are. Mm -hmm. Now, um, when people get to see this video, they get to see some details, but I mean, we have, we have new news, don't we? that people can come through and yes, that's right. see for we were Yeah, that's right. So normally we have the virtual tour, we have the video, we have these tours, but for the first time in a really long time, we're actually gonna open for Christmas. So people can come and see this house in the flesh, be gentle, don't ruin whoever's going to win its house. And as we said before, 20, uh, no, 23rd of December, we could be handing those keys to somebody and they can be here for Christmas Eve. And if you're looking when you come, if you come through the house, have a look at things like the hatching on the handles in the kitchen, for example, and on these levers and also on all the switches. They've all cross hatched. They all link together with the brass. I've put a lot of effort into all the details to make this house 
really special. You can see where $6.2 million goes. Exactly. You're a details man. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is a pretty impressive laundry space as well. Really impressive laundry space. I mean, it has everything you need. It does. You have all this space so that you can uh, put your clean laundry out here. You've got, still got a connection to the outdoors through there. You've got a big connection to the outdoors through here. You've got Miele appliances, so Miele washer and a Miele dryer. Another big butler's sink. Another pull-out spray. Um, storage for days, storage on each side, and also these big, deep cupboards that are as big as your linen cupboards. So you can put your, um, we've got a vacuum for you ironing in board. here, ironing <laughs> board, exactly, and then shelves and shelves and shelves for days, as well as these pull-out drawers, which you could use for dirty clothes, hampers, or extra storage. Perfect. I love the spotty tile. The I just, too, I'm right? just looking at them. I love it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun, and it really defines the space as you know. This is a laundry. It's totally different from a bathroom. I just, I, I thought they looked, I thought they looked really fun. And yeah. I, I was like, can I get away with it? Yeah, but, you've, you've, you've got away with it for sure. I love it. And again, I just love that you can see greenery from every single area. But let's kind of show that connectivity again there. As we said, wrap around verandas, we weren't kidding. And listen to the creek. Yeah, I know, it's gorgeous. Oh, well, you can see it running straight from here. It's, it's, and it's the so And the studio pretty. over there that we're going to give everybody a look at another time. This is, there is just so much house. We could be here all afternoon it walking is a, through the different aspects. It's a bit and, and then, <laughs> but wait, and then, more. and yeah. <laughs> and you know what, I think we actually have steak knives. Yeah, well there you go, that's good. <laughs> So these wraparound verandas, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just paradise. Like, if you're a little kid here for Christmas, you would be tearing around here, you would be in and out of the pool, you would be playing in the cubby house, um, you know, you, you could sit and, not your children, but you could mm -hmm. be cooking uh, your Christmas lunch here at the barbecue or any time of the year. It's okay. undercover, it's, these are operable windows, so also weather tight. Great. Also let that breeze in, yeah. depending where you've got your airflow coming from on the day. Wow, Christmas. And then look back at that kitchen. God, I'm proud of it. Yeah, I just love it. I, it, this, I took, I think, about eight photos, different angles of that kitchen last time, just because it's just beautiful from every angle. I think you could say that for the whole house. Yep. I'm really, really pleased with the result. I hope that all the supporters really love this house as much as I've loved making it for you all. Um, and gosh, whoever wins it on December 23rd is just going to have something really special. I know. And here for Christmas, $6.2 million worth of first prize. You have thought of every single detail. We have spared no expense. This is without question the biggest prize home for Christmas we've ever done. It's the biggest one, you know, we've done quite a few together now. It's the biggest one we've ever worked on together. Wow, what, what a Christmas gift. And I'm just so stoked to have been able to build this and work with you and create what I think is the perfect Australian contemporary country home. I am in love with this house. So whoever wins it on December 23rd is going to get, uh, you know, a piece of my heart along with this gigantic, big, beautiful family home. Yeah, a, a, an absolute life changer. And, a, you know, a privilege for me, very close to Christmas, to be calling our lucky winner. And it only takes one ticket. And we do have limited tickets again for Christmas. So, you know, just, wow, could $15 could be the day that turns your life around for Christmas this year. Oh, imagine, imagine one $15 ticket and this beautiful home is yours. Yeah, and $50,000 worth of gold bullion. So, you know, you've got uh, a little bit of a cushion there if, if this is not comfortable enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've thought of everything. We've thought of everything, perfect. Thanks so much guys, so pleased you could join us. Do get your tickets very quickly. These ones are going to sell fast and good luck. Good luck.